So in this problem, we're given a series and we're asked to determine whether it converges or diverges. And rather than using one of the ratio tests, you know, root test or test for divergence, we're just going to notice that each term of the um, sequence is, or each term of the series is just given by a telescoping sum. So if we let um, f of n be the function 1 over n plus 1. And we see that uh, b sub k, so of course here we're letting this equal b sub k, is equal to uh, delta f of k. Because this is just f of um, k minus f of uh, k minus 1, which is well, f of k is 1 over k plus 1. And we subtract uh, 1 over k minus 1 plus 1, which is just 1 plus k. So we see that all the terms are um, given by, uh, from k equals 1 to infinity, are just given by uh, b sub k. So now uh, we need to uh, determine what this uh, converges to, or if it converges at all. And it converges if and only if, so I'll say, series verges um, symbol stands for if and only if um, the limit as n goes to infinity of f of n um, exists. So if we look at this limit, uh, the limit as n goes to infinity of, um, so f of n is 1 over, um, right, 1 over n plus 1. Well, as n goes to infinity, the denominator is getting larger and larger and larger, and this is just going to go towards 0. So it does exist, so series does converge. And we can do even better than that. We know that, uh, the series from k equals 1 uh, to infinity of b sub k is going to be equal to that limit. So the limit as n goes to infinity of f of n minus f of, now we're going to evaluate um, f at the lowest index of the series minus 1. So f of 1 minus 1 or 0. Well, we know this is 0. So f of 0 and minus f of 0, well, f of n is 1 over n plus 1, so we substitute n equals 1, and we get negative 1. So we see that the convert, or this series does converge, and it converges to minus 1.